Hey there, Ryan from Moreno Collective here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to quickly go over how you can make a Flowdesk pop-up when someone clicks on a button. So for example, I've created this page, and if someone wants to opt in, they can click this button, and a Flowdesk pop-up shows up, and then we have a button here that closes that out. So it just goes back and forth like that. So let me show you how you can do that and show it. The first thing that we need to do is, uh, well, you need to create your landing page. So I'm starting here with just this initial design. Uh, you can see that there's no pop-up form or anything on this page. If we preview this page, this was a demo page here. So let me open up this. We open this up, nothing happens on the click. So let me show you what you can do. The first thing that we want to do is we're going to click on page tab and we're going to add a blank canvas. This canvas down here is going to be where we add our form code. So let's look at it on desktop and on mobile here and I'll show you how you can optimize it for both. All right. Uh, the next thing is let's set up this canvas to be a pop-up style. So um, under the canvas settings here, <clears throat> under desktop you'll want canvas type to be window height and then we want sticky to top and hidden to start and that's going to have this canvas not show um, but when it's activated it will show and it will be the height of the actual window and it will always be at the very top the other thing that we need to do is make sure that the stacking order is a really high number so that it is above everything, including your navigation and anything else that you have. Uh, so a safe number is just 99. Um, you probably don't have anything set to 99 on your website, so this is just gonna make sure that this comes up before uh, or over anything else. Um, now let's go to the mobile settings. We need to do that on mobile as well. So canvas type, window height, uh, sticky to top and hidden to start. Okay, so now that the canvas is set up, we just need to add a canvas background and I'm going to do a black background and set it to about 30% opacity. And you'll see what that looks like as well once we have it all set up. Um, okay, the next thing we need to do is add a embed code box to this canvas and this is where we're going to add that code. Uh, the Flowdesk code. So now that we're here, let's jump over to Flowdesk here. Um, and you can see that I've designed a, uh, an, this is an inline form in Flowdesk. Uh, that's the inline with image. So I mean, you can have an inline, any style of inline form will work. You don't want the pop-up code because that would just mess up. It would pop up automatically and it wouldn't be inside of your canvas and everything. So we do just want a normal inline form. You can have the inline form with image or the inline form, uh, just the standard one. Uh, so once you're done designing it, you'll want to go through your customized settings here. Um, and then once you get to the embed section, we're going to copy both of these codes. So first, let's start with the header code, jump back to show it double click on this embed code box and paste that code. Uh, hit return a few times and let's go back to Flowdesk here. Uh, and then we can hit inline code and we'll copy that code as well. Let's go back to show it and let's paste that code. Let's hit save and you'll see that the form is here. <clears throat> now let's just show the desktop for a second here. And if your blue uh, box isn't showing up the outline it just hover over this little box here and click on display mobile overlay and then that blue box will show up again so let's uh, spread this out and make sure that it's correct width and height so that looks good there I'm gonna add just a little bit more room here again this is going to be the window height uh, but I do want some breathing room in there uh, so once that uh, form is in there in the embed code box Let's hit size and position. Let's just center it to the entire page perfect <clears throat> Now let's go back to mobile and make sure that we do our mobile side as well. So Let's make the mobile version a little bit bigger 
then we're going to spread that out a bit and then I'm going to hide that mobile overlay again so I can see what's going on just like that. And I'm going to center that as well. Move it down just a little bit because we're going to add a close button up here. But before we do that, let's go up to the top. So now that we have this canvas and this is our pop-up, right? So this is that new canvas. Let's just rename this new canvas to, uh, to pop-up. Save. So let's go back to where our button is and we need to set a click action to show the pop-up canvas. So we hit this text box and we hit click actions. You'll see that nothing is already, nothing is set. So we need to set an action for show canvas and we need to show the pop-up canvas. And let's do the uh, rectangle behind it as well. So show canvas pop-up. And that's going to allow us to show this canvas because remember we set it to hidden to start. So now when someone clicks this, it will unhide this and it will be window height and sticky to top. Uh, so let's go and check that out and see if that works. Let's hit preview. And perfect, just like that. So now we have a pop-up that shows up when someone clicks on a button. Now the only problem is that people can't click out. So let's fix that. Let's go back to show it and let's go to our pop-up canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an icon and we're going to do icon chooser and let's just select one of these little X's here. Let's do the thin one. We'll resize it, something like that. And then icon settings, I just want this to be a white X. And then we're going to add a paragraph as well. Again, you can design this however you like. I'm going to say close. I'm going to resize that a little bit, move that closer to that X hit text styles and make this white as well. And then let's go over to the mobile. Always remember to edit your mobile. I find it much easier to edit the mobile version as I'm editing the desktop. If not, it gets really chaotic at the end. So let's do that. And icon settings. We want this to be white on mobile as well. And this one over here, white. Perfect. So let's just select that and center it. That one's good to go. So now we need to set click actions for our close button because right now someone clicks on this icon or the text box, nothing's going to happen. So let's select the X, click on click actions. And then what we're going to do here is another action of hide canvas and then this canvas. So if someone clicks on this X, it's going to hide this canvas. Hide canvas this canvas. So that's good to go. So let's hit preview. And we'll go back to our site here and we'll refresh. And if someone clicks this button, perfect. Look at that. We can hit close and click the button again, close. So that looks great. And if you scroll, you can see that this is just going to sit there on their screen until they close out. So I think that should be everything. Let's just double check. Let's double check it on mobile, hit preview, hit mobile down here, click here to start. Perfect. And you can hit close. So that's, that's that. One last thing I can show you is for the canvas background. Um, notice how I did 30%. You can even do something like 60% and it's just going to make the background, uh, a bit darker and less transparent. So let's preview that and maybe you'll like that a bit more. But again, there's endless ways to design that. It's up to you. So there you go. It's a little bit darker back there. Kind of makes the pop-up uh, stand out a bit more. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, I'd love to help you out. All right, bye.